So I'm Keith Chessel. I'm the uh, CEO of a company called Solcom Limited in, uh, based in the UK. Um, we have a digital health product which we call the ZAM, and I'm just going to take you through a very short presentation of that product. So with the, with, with the ZAM, we've got three primary feeds of data into a cloud dashboard. Um, the first, our, our main product is, is a blue box. Uh, it's got a tablet PC in it, as you can see. It's got Bluetooth instrumentation, and there's a wide range of instrumentation available. And it's deployed across England in, in care homes where care workers monitor the re residents. And it's um, deployed in virtual wards where people monitor themselves. We have an app um, which we can configure the content for each patient. And that app also can feed into our cloud dashboard. Um, the app and the tablet can run assessments on patients and um, everything works in real time over either 5G, 4G or, or Wi-Fi. And finally, we have um, a range of activity sensors so we can monitor someone in the home. And I'm going to talk a little bit about each one. Um, the cloud dashboard is a triaging dashboard, so it sorts uh, patients out or users out by health priority. Um, it's interoperable with the UK uh, patient record systems and with the 111 system. Um, so we distribute the data across our NHS. And it's also interoperable with Sky Response. It can generate events in Sky, Re Sky Response that have been uh, created through either vital sign or an assessment score. So I'll take you through the components now. So the blue box here, we, we're using it for virtual wards, all types of virtual wards where people, patients, get the box for a short period of time. They do their own home monitoring. We've got a wide range of equipment ranging from blood testers, point of care blood testers, through to um, a 12 lead ECG with an AI engine to do the diagnosis. Uh, we've got a wide range of health assessments as well. So from the dashboard, you'd configure up the box um, in terms of what instruments you'd need to add with it and what tests and assessments you want the patient to do. The patient would get reminded to do these tests. They pick up the instrumentation, put them on their, on their finger or on their arm, and then uh, the, the instrument Bluetooth into the tablet, which speaks speaks the uh, readings out to the patient so they know it's been done, sends it up to the cloud, and if they fail um, alert level test, they will go on to Sky Response. Similarly, the app will do the same sort of thing. We, we can, um, we've got a wide range of content for the app for multiple disease types, uh, for big selection of assessments, and users can put their vital signs in through the app as well. But the app can be used with family and friends, and we can display any type of data, health or activity or, or environmental data about a patient's home. Our activity monitoring is like many others, it's IoT or it's LoRaWAN. So we have a deployment of LoRaWAN in the social care setting environment, and, and effectively we have our app is used as a family and friends sharing tool. So here's a bit more about the clinical side of things. The dashboard, as you see, um, can be sorted. Well, it is sorted by health priority. It's designed for multi-user teams of clinical people to look at the data and record notes and, and effectively prioritize who they're going to see and what they're going to do. Um, there's multiple views of, of the uh, data lists, depending on what configuration um, the blue box has been made. So for example, we've, we've got systems for monitoring uh, those with mental health issues. We've got systems monitoring frailty, um, care homes, oncology, uh, a wide, just a wide range of dashboards available, which get automatically selected uh, depending on the use. And then we've got screens for um, sharing that data, allowing clinicians to say they've dealt with a problem at an alert level, and um, we've got individual um, views on time series of graphs. To send a data alert to Sky Response, 
it's it's very simple. So for the patient, you know, mark their identifier, and then you uh, choose which limits you want to go to SCAR response. And if the incoming data breaches those limits, then we generate an event in, in the SCAR response system. So it's all very straightforward and simple to use. And then um, last slide, these are some of the successes we've had across the UK, both in care homes and in virtual wards. And you can see, you know, really quite substantial um, reductions in demand on the health service. Um, and they, they are borne out through multiple areas across the UK. Okay, I think we've done that rather quickly. So that's that's me done.